Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywhips.com and today I'm gonna show you how to make stunning, realistic paint textures inside of Photoshop using the mixer brush. Later in this video, I'll show you how to get this free download, so stick around for that. And if you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywhips.com for more design resources for your blog and business. Now let's get started. Okay, today I'm working with a 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel document and I've already uploaded a few textures that I'm going to work with. You can make this texture or something similar to it by following the crushed foil tutorial that is also available here on my channel. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link up here so you can get to that and I'll also have a link in the end screen of this video as well. And we're going to be making a paintbrush that's going to actually paint on a realistic metallic paint finish. We're going to be working with a rose gold and gold textures, but you can use diamonds, jewel tones, gold metallics, pearl finishes, anything that reflects light would be a beautiful paint texture for this type of brush. You can uh, take any texture from any photo and use it as your paint texture. And I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the brush that we're gonna use. If you come into your brush panel here, uh, we're gonna be working with the legacy brushes. If you don't see this, you can come to the little flyout menu right here and then choose legacy brushes and those should load up for you there. These are default with Photoshop. And if you come into the legacy brushes, you'll see that you have a whole bunch of other folders here. We're gonna be working with faux finish brushes and specifically with the brush Sea Sponge number two. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. I wanted to show you why I chose this brush to work with. Now, if you can see uh, the variation in opacity that this brush has from the top, and then it starts to get lighter as it goes down to the bottom. The brush also has a lot of texture in it, which is gonna lend very well to what we're doing because it's gonna allow a lot of the different colors, especially the, the variation in opacity is gonna allow a lot of um, different colors. And you'll see what I mean here in a minute. We're gonna be working with the mixer brush. The mixer brush is the closest thing that you're gonna get to a paintbrush without actually using a paintbrush. If you come over to the brush tool here, I click on it and you'll see the flyout menu has this option for mixer brush. We're gonna choose the mixer brush. And once you have that mixer brush selected, you'll see that you get a whole bunch of other options up here. This is the flow, the mix, the load, um, how wet you want your paint, how much actual paint you want loaded on your brush. And then uh, here is what's actually loaded on the brush. So it's just a, a little swatch showing you what you have loaded, what colors on there. Uh, but it, it's not just colors. You can load textures, patterns, anything into this brush. I'm turning on the rose gold layer. So we'll be working with this rose gold color. And we're going to load this mixer brush by holding the Option key on the Mac, Alt key on the PC, you'll get this little bullseye target cursor there. And you can choose any variation of this color. So if we want a lighter section, we can sample from here. A darker section, we can sample from there. So I'm going to go ahead and sample um, right around here. And then I'm going to turn that layer back on. I'm going to come back up. I'm going to make sure I'm selecting this clean layer up here and I'm going to show you what that looks like now. It doesn't have the texture that we wanted to have so we're going to come into the brush settings and we're going to make a few changes to the brush. First thing we're going to do is change the spacing to 1%. Our brush at 90 pixels is fine. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. You can see you're getting a metallic paint texture there. Now we're going to come in and make a few changes to the shape dynamics. So we're going to work in angle jitter and we're going to bring it way up. What this is going to do is give us a coarser edge all along the outside. And I'll show you what that looks like. So you see you're getting that 
coarse edge. So right here you have a smooth paint stroke here. It's something a little more rough. And uh, I can also come back here and change the roundness of this brush, which is also going to make it even more rough. So I'm going to bring it down to about 50, somewhere close to 50%. And you can see how much streakier and more rough that paint stroke becomes. I can bring it down even further. About 25%. And it gets even more almost like a, a thick cream more than a paint stroke at that point. Now if you like this texture but you're looking for something that's a softer creamy look then you can also add some scattering to it. If you select scattering here and you come over to the scatter we're gonna scatter both axes and we're gonna bring it to about 24 Five, 24 25 percent is fine and you'll see that in the middle section there you're getting something that's much flatter but you're still getting that uh, really creamy texture on the outside so you can work with this a little bit maybe you just want 10 percent but you're still getting that that cream look and you can uh, bring it up even further and get a much different stroke. And we can also load a different pattern. I'm going to load the gold. Make sure that the layer is selected. Hold the Option or Alt key. Grab the section that you want. And then we'll come back here and we've got it in gold. We can do that same thing with this teal color. I've been telling you all about the textures I have, but actually you can use any rasterized image to grab the texture from as well. And I'm gonna show you what I mean here. So these are two images that I grabbed from unsplash.com. And if you go to prettywebs.com, I will uh, leave links to all of these images there. Uh, but both of these are from unsplash.com. They're free images. And I'm going to use these to create colors as well. So I have my brush. And I'm going to start with this red color right here from this, uh, this ruby. And I need to make sure that I'm actually on the layer. Alt or Option on the keyboard to grab that color up here. And I do have a little bit outside. So you want to try to make sure that you get the entire... Uh, color in there. So maybe I'll just drop this size a little bit and then uh, try to grab it again just to make sure that I'm only getting that red color in there. I'm going to turn these layers off and I'm going to click on that top blank clean layer um, and then I'm going to draw with that red color. So that's the red color. Now I'm going to go into this image and grab that pearl color. Make sure I'm on the layer. Alt or Option just to grab uh, this pearl texture and I'm going to go back up into that that top layer. Make sure I have maybe sure you have that brush select or that layer selected and then you'll see you'll get a whole different look with that pearl texture. You can also mix these textures together to get something completely different. And then I'm going to show you uh, one more. This time I'm going to change uh, the settings a little bit because I want it to be a little bit rougher for this one. Uh, I have my angle jitter at 100%. My brush shape I'm making a little bit more rough for this one. And I'm going back to that same image and I'm going to grab this, the diamond texture down here. So Option or Alt. Option on the Mac, Alt on the PC, just to grab that diamond texture up there. I'm going to turn that back off. Turn this layer back on, and then I'll show you what that looks like. So you see you can grab these textures from any image. As long as it's a rasterized image, you can grab the texture from it and use it to create beautiful paint strokes like this one. 
If you follow the link at the bottom of the screen, it will take you to the free pack of crushed foil textures so that you can make this brush on your own. Do you want to learn even more about working inside of Photoshop? Get more step-by-step -step tutorials by clicking on one of the videos on the screen right now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, thanks for watching.